boy, Boo Che Che, everybody inside the land. It's your favorite Bow Wow. I'm Moon Doing V Lake. Coming at you with a request. So one of my god kids saw a couple of the signs that I was doing and talking about the Patakis. Um, and we go about learning the Patakis, but every sign has multiple Patakis. And he's like, hey, let me hear one from my sign that relates to us and has some form of moral or ethical code. And I thought that was a great idea because every Pataki, okay, has a, a hidden lesson for life. The one that I want to focus on today is going to be one that's called Oche Truco, okay? Um, and like I told you before, you got to pay attention to the Patakis. You got to make sure that you have an elder near you who can break down some of these interpretations. Every Babalao has a different perspective. The 256 Ogums are very specific on how they deal with things, but everything is um, in conjunction with other signs, okay? But without further ado, let's talk about Ochetruku. So the Pataki goes for Ochetruku, one of many, that there was a boat that was sailing through the ocean. And in that boat, they were running out of rations and they were getting very desperate to, to get food and, and figure out what they're gonna do, how they're gonna survive day by day in the ocean. Well, the spotter on top of the mask of the boat sees land and this desperate crew is excited, land hold. So what they do is they immediately go ahead and anchor the ship they take their boats out, they go to the island that they were able to discover. In there, they went and they got as many rashes as they can, right? And, and they, were, they were determined to ensure that they did not fall into the same predicament as before. So they, they got everything and anything they can see, to include a parrot, which they had no need for. But they were just getting and grabbing fruits and vegetables and, uh, and, and, and wild boars. They killed, they meat, they gutted, whatever they needed to do to ensure they had everything in case they got stuck at sea for a little longer than anticipated. So they finally bring their hole back into the ship. Well, that hole was too heavy for that ship, okay? And if you remember the parrot they took, well, the parrot happened to be a very beautiful, colorful parrot, but it wasn't just colorful in appearance, it was colorful in language. The parrot was upset. The parrot did not want to be caged. The parrot was so angry, all right? But the parrot, while the ship was trying to compensate for the load, right, began to lean. Right? And, and the ship was not doing very well with, with so much um, rations on board. So it kept leaning and rocking and the ship was very unstable that the cage came loose, okay? Came loose that the parrot was free. So the parrot, being the parrot, flew out of the cage. But what the parrot didn't do was, it didn't fly away. It stood and it perched itself up on a mast. And what it did was, it was, I mean, it was letting that crew have it. How dare you cage me, um, you dirty some of my guns. I mean, very foul language, colorful language for a colorful parrot, right? One of the reasons why we call things colorful. But, so, using these colorful languages um, and just letting them have it, now the ship is starting to take water because it's too heavy. Slowly but surely, the ship begins to sink. But the parrot's so enraged, the only thing he's doing is he, I mean, he's just letting them have it to the point where he forgets to fly away. The ship sinks, the crew dies, and the parrot goes down with the ship as well. All right, so, that's the that's the epataki of Oche Truku. Okay, and what's the lesson that we're trying to learn here when we talk about Oche Truku? Well, one thing is 
We can't allow our emotions to drive us. We have to be able to think out rationally the things that we are going to do. So that's one of the life lessons. The crew went to the island. The crew went and got more than what they needed. So lesson number one, for those who have the, uh, the sign of Ocha Tuta, ration wisely. Don't allow gluttony, okay, to take over. You don't need all the flashy stuff in life. You don't need to eat that extra hamburger if you don't need to. You eat to live. You don't live to eat. Ocha Tupos typically have a struggle and they want to stay fit and they work a little harder than normal because they have to. A lot of times it has to do with their nutrition. Okay? And because Ocha Tupos like to have a little bit more of the nice stuff in life, they like to look good too. Right? So they spend a little extra money. Okay? So Ocha Tupo teaches us ration. Be reasonable, okay? The other thing that Oche Tupo tells you is that you are also the parent, okay? And although you have a chance to go and be set free and get away from your enemies, don't allow yourself to be blinded by rage, by anger. You need to take that opportunity to free yourself because in that pataki, that crew was going to get their just desserts. They were going to die in sync with that ship regardless. The parrot had the opportunity to fly away, go back to the island before it was too late and chose not to. And because of rage and passion, because it was so angry, it sunk and died along with the ship and the enemies. So the moral is there. Act logically. Take the emotion out of things. And when you do that, you're going to find yourself victorious over your enemies. Because Ochetupo has the ire to escape their enemies. Ochetupo just needs at that point to have faith that the world is going to correct itself. Your enemies will get their just deserves. You just live, okay, in and tranquility. Well, I hope I was able to enlighten you with a, an odu and a pataki that has a very strong ethical and moral meanings to it. So that's Oche Trupo. And that's for, uh, for one of my godsons. So there you go. I'm actually trying to make a video for every one of my god kids. Uh, just so they can kind of feel the love one, two, while I'm teaching them, I'm teaching everybody else. So with that said, again, like I tell you all the time, I'm here for you guys 24-7. Go ahead and hit me up on Gmail, La Regla de Ifa. So that's La da Regla da De da Ifa at gmail.com. So La Regla de Ifa with dots in between. You got any questions, concerns? All right, and always looking for ideas. So hit me up with a comment, give me a like, subscribe, do this, what you do, and uh, I will see you for that next video. Iguru, Iboya, Buche, Che.